Hi, I'm Caitlin, an artist with Embroidery Library. Adding embroidery to your sweatshirts is a fun way to customize your own apparel. Today, I'll demonstrate the technique and talk about stabilizer. I'll also show you how to stitch the design straight and some traditional and non-traditional placement ideas. Sweatshirts are usually made of cotton or a cotton and polyester blend. Begin by washing and drying your sweatshirt as that gets any shrinkage out of the way. Also, if you pre-wash your sweatshirt, you avoid the risk of having any of the fabric color bleed into the thread of the embroidery design. Where you place your design is largely up to personal preference. I'm using a border design, which is a rectangle. Use your embroidery software to print out a template of your design. Arrange the template on the sweatshirt until you find the spot that looks good to you. Traditionally, a design like this is placed so that the top of the design is three inches down from the neck, centered between the left and right sleeve seams. But if you're working with a smaller size, like this child size, you'll find that placing the design a little closer to the top looks better. In this example, the top of the design is two and a half inches down from the neck. After you have the template where you want to stitch the design, mark the horizontal and vertical axis lines and the center point. Turn the sweatshirt inside out. Spray a piece of cutaway stabilizer with temporary adhesive and smooth that on the back of the area that will be embroidered. Now, turn the sweatshirt right side out again. Slide the outer hoop inside the shirt. Then, press the inner hoop in place, lining up those marks that you made on the sweatshirt with the marks on the hoop. Roll the excess sweatshirt up and around so nothing gets caught on the machine while embroidering. Use clips to keep the excess up and out of the way. If you've ever embroidered through the front and the back of your shirt by mistake, well, you're not alone. Embroider the design. A size 11 or 75 11 sewing or embroidery needle will work just fine. Sometimes I'm asked about tearaway stabilizer and if it can be used on a sweatshirt. I don't recommend it. I prefer cutaway stabilizer because sweatshirts are worn and washed a lot. Tearaway stabilizer degrades over time and if you use it on a sweatshirt it creates a lot of puckering and dimpling in the fabric. But cutaway stabilizer doesn't degrade over time. It's a solid foundation that supports the fabric and embroidery continuously. I use cutaway stabilizer for long-lasting good looks. After the design is finished, turn the shirt inside out and cut the excess stabilizer away. I leave about a half inch around the design. That stabilizer might look stiff at first, but it softens after a wash or two. You might notice that the hoop left a ring, and that's normal. This mark occurs when the hoop is pressed on any soft fabric. It'll come right out in the wash or when steamed. Here's the adult size large sweatshirt with the top of the snowflake three inches down from the top. And here's the child size medium sweatshirt. For this one, I used a smaller size of the design and positioned it two and a half inches down from the top. Earlier, I mentioned that where you place your design depends upon personal preference. And so far, I've shown two traditional examples. But here are some other ideas to try. In this example, I used a wedge of fall feathers to cascade down the shoulder area. I positioned the design so that the top was two inches below the top shoulder seam. This is a sweatshirt cardigan with snaps up the front. I added a filigree sewing machine design to the pocket and an elegant border to the cuffs. To embroider the cuffs, I opened up the sleeve seam, embroidered, then stitched it back up. For the pocket, I removed it, embroidered on it, then reattached it. This is another cardigan and I stitched a lovebird heart design on the left. On the back, I stitched a coordinating border and then on the pocket, one of the corner designs. Think of a sweatshirt as a blank canvas and you can place your embroidery designs anywhere you'd like on it. Thanks for watching today. For the designs you've seen here and more tips and tutorials, please visit our website at www.emblibrary.com.